On the Oregon coast, there is an incredible array of animals ranging from whales and sea lions to salmon and crab. But closer to shore, in the shallows of the tide pools, lives an organism that is highly adapted to the harsh conditions of the intertidal zone. This animal has a harpoon defense system and lives in a colony comprised of clones of itself. It can rely on photosynthesis in addition to eating. Among the sea stars and mussels resides this alien and sophisticated creature, the sea anemone. A species exclusive to the west coast of North America is Anthoplura elegantissima. Its gently swaying arms and stationary positioning may draw some to the assumption that Anthoplura is a plant, though in actuality, it is an animal. One of the ways Anthoplura is able to thrive is its remarkable ability to work with other organisms. Algae are one of the anemone's most essential partners, and we can see this by observing on the cellular level. The anemone offers its cells as a safe refuge for the algae, and in turn, the algae pass along the products of photosynthesis, providing energy to the host. The anemone can provide a home to nearly a billion individual algae. The world on the cellular level is only the first glimpse into a complex network of relationships. A closer look reveals this world, and we can see into the bustling city that is the microbiome. Scientists are just beginning to understand the microbiome within the anemone and the benefits the microbes provide to their hosts. One of the most remarkable feats performed by Anthoplura is that of cloning. Imagine ripping yourself in half and ending up with two exact copies of yourself. This is essentially what Anthoplura does. It then arranges the colony of clones in order to protect the innermost individuals. This allows them to devote all their energy and resources towards reproducing while the outermost provide defense. These individuals utilize their stinging cells, or nematocysts, in order to ward off encroaching colonies. The operation of the nematocyst is nothing short of remarkable. When stimulated, a tiny trap door opens up to reveal a spring-loaded harpoon. This harpoon launches and embeds itself into the intruder and instantaneously begins injecting venom into the victim like a tiny hypodermic needle. Warring anemone colonies will then retreat, creating a demilitarized zone where a buffer exists that both colonies are comfortable with. Anemones are among the most successful creatures in the intertidal zone. They are able to thrive in highly variable environments up and down the coast from the warmer waters of Baja to the colder climate of British Columbia. Scientists believe we have a great deal that can be learned from these fascinating creatures occupying our tide pools. Their remarkable ability to work with other organisms and thrive in varying environments give us clues as to how they may adapt to a changing ocean environment.